So today we're going to be going through the steps to get started with a D-series amplifier and um, I'm just going to jump right into it. So when you um, when you get your amp you're going to want to know how to load your presets for your daily speakers and whatnot. So um, the easiest way to do this is, um, is, is how I'm about to do it. So if you go ahead and go to products amplifiers and processing on our website so just browse to one of these DSP amplifiers we've got the 14k4 click on the presets and audio core um, audio core is the software used to uh, configure the amplifiers and so that'll just be a quick download it's a zip file so you're going to want to extract that so click extract all complete And then here's Audio Core, and here is the Daily Sound Labs preset. So you can store this wherever, but I'm going to go ahead and copy this because I'll need that file location here in a little bit. So um, go ahead and open Audio Core and run it anyway. And what you want to do is add, allow Audio Core through the private network and public networks. This will prevent any. Um, limited access uh, when you go to connect to it. So uh, this is the software, rather simple. Uh, we want to start by going online. So I'm click this button, and then we're going to go ahead and um, make sure that our adapters are selected. Okay, scan system. Let's try that again. Okay, so it found the one unit, and I'll have this connected to the um, computer here on uh, Network Adapter 3, and I will just want to build from connected, and this will take roughly 15 to 30 seconds to load all the information on this, and then once this is done, our window here is our little control module, so we can make it smaller than that if we need to. Um, so just a quick overview here, this is the amplifier if you have the ID set, which you uh, you should have if you have more than one, then you will uh, see that ID here and here, and the name of the amplifier and the configuration. So right now it's a four by one, four by one way crossover, meaning it's four passive boxes. So um, the right click option on these uh, gives you a sub menu so what we want to do to load a preset is we want to right click on crossover we can load it here um, if, you, if you right click off here you cannot load a preset there so click on the crossover load a preset and because I've already set this up it, it has automatically pulled up my preset library but yours probably won't look like this the first time so what you'll want to do is um, paste that URL that we were just or not URL but the, um, the file path here and select that directory oops sorry I'll actually post it right here and go there and this is not where you select the preset file itself this is just the directory so you could have many presets within this directory um, you're just merely selecting this folder so once you select the folder if you've only got the one in there then um, you just double click this and there it is so at the moment um, we're just looking at the Danley it'll, it'll configure based on manufacturer so if you have more than one then you should be able to see those two now um, as you can see I think there was 82 total presets so um, it's quite a lot to just scroll through so if you want to narrow it down to a category you have that option um, I'm gonna go ahead and just load a few of the SH family speakers so in this case I'm gonna go with a SH96 passive so I'm gonna load that and that was on channel 1 and it overwrote what was on channel 1 so 
that is perfect. And you can always double check that by double clicking on the crossover and it and it comes up with this configuration module here. So this what this shows you is amp channel one will be in red. Whatever selection you make will be the red trace. So there we go. The um, that channel is done. Um, just a couple of other features here. If you want to adjust gain or delay, that's all on this page. Um, so again, just double click. I think any of these actually will do that. We'll pop this up. So, yep. So, uh, just double click anywhere on one of these modules, and the whole configuration tab will come up. So, you can mute, adjust levels. Um, if you want to change your routing, the way to do that is you right click the background and select modify device. You can also do that by clicking device modify same thing just um, up to you how you do it so in this case if we wanted to um, feed inputs A and B into that we could sum A and B and what you would be doing is um, sending a stereo signal into your amp and summing it to the single output so that's how that works you could also send input A uh, so you have a mono from your mixer coming in, you can do that this way. Um, you can also send uh, your auxiliary outputs this way. You can change your names here. So if you need to modify the names for whatever reason, input names, all that, totally possible. Input source selection. Um, I have options here where I can choose uh, Dante and you know the failover possibilities. So all that is there. All right, so just a quick recap. Um, loading presets, fairly easy here if you have the files to, uh, to do so. Uh, go online, right click crossover, load a preset. And refine it if you need to, to uh, whichever speaker family you must. Going to load a goat 28CX. Load it. Okay, so there we go. And if you want to, uh, if you have any duplicates of those, you can uh, copy amp output filters, or you can copy output channel. So what I'll do is copy output channel, and then paste output channel. And what that does is it overwrites. Uh, with the same name and everything, so that's a quick way to duplicate them. If um, so again, double clicking opens that. If I want to load a biamp cabinet, I can do that here, and that will automatically load the low frequency section on the first channel and the high frequency section on the second channel, since all of our boxes are wired that way that are biamped, um, unless it's a subwoofer, then it's just two subs basically so I guess I'll leave it here and that's um, you know give us a call or email me at jason at dailysoundlabs.com if you have any questions further uh, we'll be glad to help and uh, you should be able to um, to get in touch with us fairly easily alright have a nice day